I'll tell you what, we're going to talk about this right now, this stage fright deal. We're not going to dwell on this a lot today. If this happens to be one of your problems, I will happy, I'd be happy to talk to you about it. I have on my website, there's a lot of free stuff on my website. So you can go get articles and everything. But I want to tell you about this survey I'm doing. I surveyed 5,000 professional speakers and trainers around the world. Now, not all of them responded, admittedly. Not, not a small percentage responded. But the ones that did, what I found was is that the stage fright that people have, and you know the, the book of lists says that's like the biggest fear of anything. You could rather be dead in the casket than, than doing the eulogy, that kind of thing. Uh, what I found was that this stage fright, you didn't get it when you were born. Something happened to you between then and now. And what it was, and what I'm finding is that the way your parents treated you, if they encouraged you to speak at family gatherings, or if they uh, told you to shut up and be quiet, all right, that affects the way you feel about yourself later. So uh, I found out a tremendous number of things how you can overcome stage fright. You never really, uh, you can overcome it, but uh, most people don't. They learn to control it. And there's many techniques. There's about 50 of them in the book. If you have this particular problem, I'll be glad to follow up with you. Anybody here of Laurence Olivier? The best actors in the world? Severe stage fright. Almost debilitating stage fright. Anybody old enough to remember Johnny Carson? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Carson, I've been told, every day for the 30 years he walked on that stage had severe stage fright. Didn't stop him, did it? Learned to control it. All right, so that's all we're going to talk about stage fright. If anybody wants to look into that further, I'd be glad to help you.